Elektra has a hit! Goal! Denmark! The breakthrough strike! A few moments later... So, perfect blue skies, almost no wind, beautiful sunshine. These are in the conditions for the beautiful game. The backdrop here, picturesque, idyllic. No doubt one of the best days of the footballing calendar and it has added to a really jovial, happy mood in the stands, helping to raise the level of sound by more than a few decibels. Shirt sleeve order, very much the dress code. No question that this is one of the great capital venues of the Netherlands, the Johan Cruyff Arena, Amsterdam. And we rise now for the Danish national anthem. Was impressive. Match that. The Czech Republic have opted for a 4-5-1 formation, it appears, Jim. Well, the lone striker has to be prepared to do some of the work himself, but essentially he needs two of the three central midfielders to make runs beyond him and trust that the wide men can, can service the penalty box and make those link-up runs from out to in. He should get plenty of support with this setup. the way who do you think this turns on Jim yeah Christian Eriksen he's super accurate with both feet Peter and able to deliver a cross or a through ball with just the perfect bend or indeed weight all this allied to great awareness and vision which make him a massive creative talent what I really like about Eriksen though is that he's got the energy and the determination to keep going for 90 minutes every game he's a trier yeah, I'd have picked him too. No doubt the fans feel much the same way. It's a promising run he's making on the right. Oh, that is lovely footwork. Seems now to be all about wit. Well, when you have the personnel to create in wide areas, then they need to see as much of the ball as possible. Dashing forward at pace. He's got options out wide. Great challenge. Time to perfection. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Vass gets into the right position to intercept. Poulsen. Poulsen. has a hit! Goal! Denmark! The breakthrough strike! That was a given. It always was. Well, it's pretty damning on the part of that defence, Peter, that he was allowed so much time and space. But I think you have to give credit where it's due. And it was a brilliant setup and finish.
Denmark draw first blood here. Still a fragile lead though, they can't afford to sit on this. Eriksen tries to clear. Hoiberg. Hoiberg goes looking. Forward it goes. Pass. Hoiberg. Eriksson. Bariba with the clearance. Hoist it forward. And the whistle goes for half time. So there you have it, a close sport half of football. The club that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. More than decent game up to now. I'm sure they'll be very happy with the first half performance and the scoreline. That gets things going for the second half. A solitary goal. That has been the crucial difference. Yet another to add to football's endless list of could-haves and should-haves. Denmark seemed to have chosen a tougher route through the middle. That was easily read and dealt with. Eriksson. Goes for goal! Oh, that's a fine save! Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Save, he got a decent fist on that. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Delaney. Shot a goal! Tries to get it forward quickly. Kufal. Tries to switch the play. That'll be a throw in. So here comes a substitution. Battles to win it back. Dolberg was steaming forward. It's a very good battle there. Terrific to watch. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Delaney. And here's Ericsson. And now they can launch a counter. Looks to clip it forward. Well played, he saw that coming. Marla. Hardly anything between the sides. And it's 1-0. Drives it towards the front. Hoiberg. Hoiberg gets it out to the wing. And it's Hoiberg. Delaney, Denmark leading here by this still precarious 1-0 margin, now a chance to break, Poulsen gets it back, look their supporters must be going barmy about this because there's no sense of purpose in what we're seeing, and the counter is on, and it's, he's had a go, he scores! Two up and threat 
threatening to pull clear. Yeah, the pass was bang on and he just had to ensure he didn't stray offside. The finish was actually bang on too. Two up, and that is that. Denmark can be very happy with a job well done, an efficient win for which the players simply did enough. So what do you take away from it all, Jim? Denmark simply imposed their strength from start to finish, and this became as predictable as predictable.